Good morning, you guys. It is your girl, Kia Viola, the building. I love for your screen. And back in it again with another week. Child, listen. My little vacation wasn't long enough. <laughs> listen, no time away from work is ever long enough. <sighs> but, yes. I am kind of well rested to some degree, though. So I guess that's good. I guess that's good. Welcome to another week, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope this week goes by fast, which it should because it's a holiday week. So that means your girl is off on Friday. I'm off on Friday. Well, kind of. Maybe we'll get into that in another video. But kind of off from here anyway. But yeah, so I'm excited. At least I get to sleep in. Which I will. I I, I, I definitely will. <laughs> but, yes. It's going to be a pretty fun week, too. Plus, Wakanda Forever is on Thursday. I am too geeked. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Hey, cannot wait. Hey, hey. Wakanda Forever. I can't wait. Am I going to dress up? Probably not. No, I mean, I'm going to be boring. <laughs> Me and mom going to go in in our regular clothes like we here. Let's see this movie. Okay. Let's see this movie. Y'all know I got to be the first one to see it. That's why I'm like going on Thursday instead of Friday. Because I ain't messing with y'all. I ain't fooling with y'all. All right. Y'all ain't finna sell out the arenas and the seats and the stuff and the theaters. Y'all not. So I'm going to make sure I'm in there early. That's why I've had my ticket since October. Okay. Okay. So I am excited about it. I can't wait to see it. And y'all know I'm going to do a review on it. So just be prepared. Because we're going to get into it, okay? And this week, the Jordan 11s, the Navy Velvets come out. The Midnight. <sighs> Sounds like a fun week to me. You know what I mean? Sounds like a fun week to me. But y'all, can you believe it is like almost time for Thanksgiving? I can't. I can't. It's cold outside today, too. It's like 40 degrees here. I'm like, but why? We were just 70 this weekend. I'm not ready at all in terms of weather. Holiday vibes, yeah, I'm all in. But in terms of weather, I'm not. We gained an hour or we lost. We gained an hour. <laughs> we gained an hour, you know? You know what I hate about that, though, is that when we gain or lose an hour, like, no lie, I feel like... um I don't go to sleep so I don't gain the hour and I always lose an extra hour <sighs> like it just don't work for me anybody else like that anybody else like that like we getting a whole hour and I stayed up that whole extra hour like what how does that work but my eyes were hurting y'all they was hurting so bad the last video I posted uh, with the eyeshadow palette, I had on the Jacqueline Hill palette on my eyes. And I already told you guys, and I don't know how I just am buying palettes like I don't know this, but I have allergic reaction to certain eyeshadow palettes because they have something in them that others don't or either it's stronger or something. And I really need to figure out what it is because <laughs> I don't want to go blind trying to be cute for the night you know because that Jacqueline Hill palette sadly I had to kick the bucket all right it's gonna go to another home because yeah my eyes swole up and I was looking like the choir the crying filter all of what day was that Saturday Sunday so yeah my eyes are in recovery from that so I won't be using that eyeshadow palette anymore but at least I know what it was because I really just used that eyeshadow palette and then I did use Huda but I always wear Huda so I know it's not that one because I just put the gold flakes in the center but the main attraction the rest of the look was all Jacqueline Hill so so that's gone because I was looking a hot mess you know and I can't be walking around here with swollen eyeballs and they hurt it so bad. It's bad enough that my eyelids be acting all 
retarded to begin with. So to add on the eyeballs, it's like, <laughs> no, I can't do this. I can't. So yeah, that's all. But outside of that, you guys, I got my nails done. You'll probably see it in other videos before this one gets posted. But she got her fingers. I didn't even get them done, y'all. I got a polish. That's the whole story in itself. Y'all, tell me why y'all knew how my nails was starting to look atrocious and they was flaking and stuff. And I was showing y'all because I had blue on my fingers and I used real fingernail polish. Forgetting how real fingernail polish works. And y'all, so I went in there. And was like, hey, I just want to get a polish and a buff. Because I had just gotten a fill-in. Y'all already know, I had only had got my nails done or filled in like a week and a half ago. And I just didn't like how the color was coming off. But I'm like, all they got to do is buffer it down and they can put polish on it. And it'll look like I got a full set all over again. As soon as I went in, they're like, full set? Full set? You, you want fill-in? You want fill in? I'm like, no, I just want a polish. I don't want to pay $50 million for a fill in thing, okay? I, I don't, all right? I'm like, I just need a polish, okay? I just kept telling that, mm, that ain't gonna look good. Mm, that, that not gonna look good. I'm like, I don't care. I just want a polish, all right? You sure? I don't want you to come and complain. I was like, I promise you this. I promise you this. I won't complain. Just expect the polish on me. Child, so I finally get seated, and they're like, um, so you want to fill in? I'm like, no, I want a polish and a foul down, okay? So we sit down, she start buffering them down, and I already knew as soon as she buffered them down that they would look like I didn't need a fill in anymore, especially when she added the polish. So she started buffering them down, and then she gonna start getting ready to dip their acrylic. I was like, uh-uh. I said I wanted a polish and a cut down. You did my cut down, get to polishing. You know, I'm just like, no, I don't I don't want a fill in. I don't you there's no reason for you to start acrylicing. Okay, y'all, it ain't going to look good. It's, it's not going to look good. You don't want polish or you don't want filling? I was like, no, I want them polished. I want a polish change. That's why I came here. Long story short, y'all, she buffered them down. And then she put on this red fingernail polish. The place was just, ugh. First of all, like they didn't even give me the little fingernails to be like, I'll oh, take a look and, and decide what color you want. Cause they all just mad cause I don't want a stupid feeling. I just want them buffed down and polished. Like what in the world? Can you do what I said? Can you? Stupid. Just, just as dumb as dumb can be. So I ended up like still going back and forth with the lady. She's like, you sure y'all want feeling? Ma'am, what what did I say? Are you deaf? Did I do I need to write it down? Did I miss something along the way? Cause I done told you and three other people that all I want is a dang on file down and a polish. <sighs> so she had a whole attitude. Didn't show me any fingernail polish color. She just like you got color in mine. I'm like yeah, I want. I just made up something. I was like, what haven't I had on my fingers? I was just like, give me red. I've never had red fingernail polish before. And she's like, okay. So she go and get the polish or whatever. And she busts them down. I wash my hands. She polishes them. I literally sat there for like not even 10 minutes, if that. Okay? Not even 10 minutes. She had a whole attitude the whole time. They was talking in their little language, talking smack. Point blank and period. I don't care what you got to say, okay? I know when smack is being talked about me and it was being talked about me because I didn't want to sit here and pay for no dang on fill in. So she polishes them really quickly. Good thing they actually turned out really nice. Like, y'all. So we get to check out. She doesn't even tell me the price. She's like, you got car or you got cash? I'm like, I'm using a card. Okay, give it here. Uh, what? So, I'm just like, you know what? I'm so sick of y'all. I'm so sick of y'all. So, she ended up cashing me out. And y'all, when I tell you I got my receipt and I could almost smack the chick, I could almost smack the chick. She charged me $28 for a dang on file down and polish 
In what world? In what world? You just made $28 off of me in 10 minutes. Do you know how heated I am? Like I could have spit at her and smacked her in her face and kept it walking. But I'm not that type of person. But I was just that upset that I'm just like, are you kidding me? I wish I knew your language. I really wish I knew your language. Because I would cuss you out and all of it. Okay? Whatever. Y'all can sit there and say what y'all want. They work hard. Okay. But you didn't work hard enough to make no $28 off me when all I said was I wanted a polish. You could have gave me a whole full set at that price. Like, so long story short, after I already told the long story, <laughs> no lie, these nails, their numbers are counted because I refuse to be paying $50, $60 for a dang on polish when I don't need a filling. And I don't feel like paying that extra money. I don't. I've been trying to be a nice little cute little extra feminine girl lately by getting them done. But that's out the window. Okay? Because you're about to be charging me whatever and then doing my nails and leaving half of the bed showing. Like, y'all getting on my nerves. This is not how it used to be when I used to get my nails done when I was a teenager. So, yeah. Yeah. After January 1st, I'm done. Okay? It might be earlier than that because I already don't want to go back to none of the places I went to. Because they all got freaking flaws. Like, you're not going to be charging me for stupid stuff. And the other one wanted to start my nail off here and leave this much exposed of my nail bed. Like, this is the first time I actually went to the place. And they went back to where they're supposed to go in terms of the polish. Like, my hands look so wrinkly and old. Whatever. But listen take these old lady fingers all right and love them but i'm not about to mm -mm. i'm not about that life i am not about that life now did i like the guy the last time yes i did but he still didn't polish my nails back like you see how far this is polished back to the actual cuticle he still didn't polish like that it's like they want you to come in earlier so they're gonna polish it you know, in a way that looks like you need a fill-in already when you leave. Or they want to charge you 30 bucks for a polish. And I'm absolutely positively not here for that. So, yeah, I'm checking out. I am checking out. It was fun while it lasted. Listen, what, I'm going to get one more color and then I'll probably be done. Because I'm, no, I'm not doing this all year long. <laughs> I'm not doing this all year long. I will go back to my chicken fingers and I will be happy. Unless somebody wants to pay. <laughs> Unless somebody else want to put that bill, baby. Because I don't. And that really upset my spirit. To get a polish for $28. Like, when I tell you I showed my mom the receipt. And I was like, he dead? She's like, at least they look good. <laughs> That's how I look. That's how I feel. Even think about it, it still upsets me. I don't care how good they look. I knew they was going to look good because it wasn't time for a dang on fill-in. Like, that's all I'm saying. That, that's all I'm saying. I digress. So, yeah. That's going to be out. <sighs> but do I like the red? Yes. It's nice to see different colors on my fingers that I've never seen before. So, I like the polish. I don't like the price. And a polish for $28 is absolutely positively ridiculous. And that's why you didn't want to show me the bill. And that's why you were talking in your little language. Like, I'm still going to charge her for filling. <laughs> Bro, I left a whole review. I did. I left a whole review. I probably ain't even welcome there no more. I was like, y'all some dang on scammers. I really did. Because that's what that was. A scam. That was a robbery. A robbery. Because back in the day, a polish change was $15. It was not $28. Some people would be like, ah, oh, you buy shoes. Listen, I don't care. Or we're talking about two different things. And two different ways I want to spend my money. I don't want to spend my money like that for that much. So, take it or leave it. But, yeah. <laughs> Outside of that, I'm fine. Outside of that, I'm fine. Oh, you guys, I don't know if this video will be posted. It'll probably be the same day that I'll post it. I don't know. But I got a new um, Huda Beauty, Kayla. 
I'm guessing it's Kayla. I'm gonna have to look up how people are pronouncing this name. I had a new perfume called Invite Only Amber. Absolutely phenomenal. Hands down my favorite. It is on my body now. It smells so good. It does have a hint of cherry, but it also has a hint of everything else, okay? Amber, vanilla, everything is in here. So I absolutely love it. It is my favorite and your it just smells good. It's a must have. Definitely, definitely try it. There's another one I want to try. I think it's two more that I want to try. And they're both like in the pink package. So, y'all probably get a review on that later on too. Because I like the prices of these. These are very affordable. Especially for the product that you get. In the way that you don't need that many squirt, squirts or sprays. Because it's long lasting. And I absolutely love it. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. I'm done with this face for today. Um, I'm getting ready to head into work, make this money. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a good day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you already know, I will see you later. Bye.